Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here for dnnhero.com and today you're gonna be talking about how to display how to display a simple list of files in our .NET 2 website and this is by far not, not close to a, to a document management system but it's just a, a nice and simple way and free way to display a list of documents, a list of files in a particular folder on our website. To do that, we're gonna use a module called uh, links, .NET links. It's open source module, you can download for free. I'll post the link to the module download page. It's a, a module supported by Eric, and I'll not try to say his last name because I'll bastardize it. Uh, so I have downloaded the module already. I have installed the site. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a folder on my site and I'm going to upload a few documents, a few files, and I want to show those files in a page in my website. So let's go to admin. I'm logged in as super user. I'm going to go to admin, file manager. Under file manager. Here under file manager, I will create a new folder called my docs. Just gonna add this folder. Here it is. I'm gonna upload a few files. So I'm just gonna hit upload. I'm gonna click on browse. Okay, here are my documents. I'm gonna open the first one, load, second one, load. And third one, it's just an image. I'm gonna upload as well. All done, click return. And here is my new folder with the files inside. Now, here's what I want to do. I want to show those three files. Actually, I want to show this entire folder in a page in our website. So let's just create a new page here. Just gonna, gonna go to pages, add. And I'm gonna call this my docs page. So it will be displayed in the menu. Let's leave it as is. Permissions, everybody can see it. Add page. So here's our new page. I'm just gonna add the links module, which is already installed. Installation is straightforward. Nothing, nothing much here. All categories. Under the module drop down, I'm just gonna select the links module. And those are my docs. Add to the content pane. So here's the module. Now we have to set it up. So we're just gonna go to manage, settings. And under settings, we go to link settings. Now this module can be used for multiple uh, purposes. It can, it can be used as a, as a menu navigation, and a few other things, but we're gonna focus on the dis on displaying files. So under module mode, let's select folder, and under the folder drop down, let's select my docs. So just by doing that and hitting update, I should be able to see my documents there. Now from here, I can just click on them, and it will get them downloaded. Now again. There, there are no securities behind that. I mean, it's a very straightforward mode, very simple. Uh, you will not be able to do a lot about permissions here, but at least you can display and you can, you even have those, uh, the additional information that shows the, the size of the document. If you don't want that, that's fine. You can just go back, go to settings and under display in full link, you say no. You can also display, uh, the items vertically or horizontally. So let's just select horizontally, just have a look, update, and then they will go horizontally without the additional information, without the, this, the file size. If and when I upload a new file to that same folder, let's go back there to file manager. Let's upload another file to my docs. That file should show up automatically under our new page, which is right here, my docs page. So if I go back there, you see the info.txt file that I have just uploaded. 
will show up automatically. So again, just a simple and easy and free way that you can display files from a particular folder on your .NET Took website. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.